everybody welcome back to my channel it is Wednesday um, so I got myself a little um, ready early because I have workers in the kitchen um, fixing the, the cracks not the cracks but the, the structures that they tore down to fix to replace those gas gas pipes so right now they're working in the kitchen um plastering you know doing whatnot i'm gonna insert a clip after this to show you how bad my kitchen looks right now and um yeah they're doing that right now and um i also have well unfortunately with with yeah pretty much that <laughs> anyway um and also i have an appointment later on this afternoon to go to um, to get my mammogram you know because normally um, I go every year to get it done because in my family unfortunately a lot of the women in my family we are like rich when it comes to cancers of all types you know so um, unfortunately it runs in both sides of my family my father's side as well as my mother's side when it comes to breast cancer so, you know, doctors felt that it, since I had gotten COVID, they want to take extra precaution of me not developing it. So they want me to, you know, get that mammogram really checked out, like, you know, get my breast checked out. So I'll be going there this afternoon. Um, I know I'm not going to get the results right off the bat. You know, it's going to take like at least a week or week and a half for me to get the results. And they'll send it through mail unless they'll decide to put it in the app but um other than that you know that's pretty much it for today so um it's gonna be a short video i promise it won't be as long as um the video that i did yesterday yesterday regarding the eeg so <laughs> it'll be short and sweet <laughs> but um so you know stay tuned you know I won't be able to film the process in there because it'll be kind of awkward for me to hold the camera while they squish in my boobies that's not happening <laughs> that's not happening so um I'll do a little check in when I start arriving towards um towards the hospital it's, it'll be in a different section of the hospital because well, this, the hospital I go to, it, it's a big complex, so they have many different buildings for different things. So I'll be going to a different location. So I'll, I'll definitely do a check in. So stay tuned. So this is the work they're doing in my kitchen. Yeah. This is the gas line that they installed last month. They got work. They plastered all that stuff there. And then the gas line goes all the way around, around, around. They gotta work on that corner, which I have to tell them, because they're liable to leave a hole there. And then, yeah, that's, don't mind the pots and pans, which is I don't really have cabinet spaces. And yeah, this is the other part of the job. So, they're working on this this mess oh my kitchen's a wreck so right now i guess they went to lunch it's already past 12 so they're already you know gone to lunch so i'm sure they're letting this dry and um, i gotta remind them that that's a hole there because they're liable to leave it there and um, the only thing they told me is that they still are not turning on the gas as of yet um, because I guess they're waiting for the buildings department and in, in Con Edison well we have Con Edison in New York City which they deal with the gas and the electric um, so they're just waiting for them to coordinate the time to come and do inspections in all of the apartments to make sure that um, everybody gets the gas safely so yeah fun times continues but at least it's getting done now I have to just 
make sure they understand that I need the same paint for my kitchen. So we'll see. Stay tuned. So they just finished plastering my kitchen. They got the corner there. So far so good. Not the best. And then I told them to get that corner over there. Yeah. Because if not, he would have forgotten it and walked right out. And then they got this part here. And then of course down here. So they gotta give this a few days to dry since it's been so humid here and um, you know they got other apartments that they gotta do too. Um, they're gonna let me know when they're gonna come back and paint and I told them I have to paint for them because you know I have extra paint so might as well use it up. Can't wait to get everything back in place, especially my machine, because I have a washing machine, so it goes into this corner that I showed you that they plastered. So I can't wait to get that hooked up and clean my kitchen out. I hate a messy kitchen, and my kitchen looks like a disaster. So at least a little small progress happened today, and I'm okay with it. Now I'm going to head off my appointment and um, wish me luck because uh, I'm gonna need it. Alright, stay tuned. I'm already here. Time to get my memory started. Alright, so I'm about to go in. They're gonna call my name and then I gotta do what I gotta do. So hopefully everything works out nervous it's been like like over a year like a year and a half since I had my last mammogram so yeah wish me luck I just literally finished it took about 15 minutes to get it done so now I'm gonna get dressed and uh, head out so so far so good I'm gonna get the results from my doctor soon, maybe about a week. So, close my fingers. Everything turns out good. Alrighty, I'll catch you soon. So, I finished literally walking out of the, the hospital. Now I'm gonna head to the supermarket. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say from the last clip, in case you couldn't hear me, that um, it took 15 minutes to get that done. It, thank God it was a little less painful than usual. <laughs> it was kind of nerve-wracking because it's been a while. And, and um, I should get the results hopefully within the week. And uh, hopefully everything comes out normal, nothing crazy. Anyway, so I want to thank everybody tuning in to my video and I'm going to clip the, the CT angiograph video with this video so it won't be as tedious of having two separate videos. So, uh, so stay tuned to the next video which will I'll film on Friday. So I'll see you in a little in a few days. Hi, it is finally Friday. Um, videotaping this Friday morning. It's almost 1030. I'm already ready. My appointment is not until the afternoon, but I have a couple of things I need to take care of today. And it's already freaking hot. It's going to be another hot day here in New York City. Temperatures are already going to climb up to 95. So I got my hair all wet. Let it, the curls fly. Because I am not going to fight this heat. I just want to stay as cool as possible. Anyway, um, I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, because I um, Wednesday I had went to get a mammogram. And I already 
show the video. It's going to be linked up with this video. And uh, I've done the, the mammogram. I, you know, like the old way of doing things from the hospital usually make you wait for a week. But since, you know, technology has been so advanced, so I wound up getting the results yesterday, which was Thursday. So, unfortunately, um, they, um, I'm kind of like a little bit like thrown back, but you know, I'm trying to just not dwell into the negativity, but um, one of my breasts, um, they sh it shows something to be concerned so it, it's not stating that I have cancer so as of you know for now um, but I have to go back for a second checkup and um, I have to schedule another appointment with um, a, another mammogram but not at the same location I went to this location will be at this the hospital which is um it's considered like the cancer hospital in in um in the place that i go to which i wind up i'm gonna go this afternoon for my ct scan so it's gonna be in the same building um so i have to make an appointment there to get a second mammogram done and if they feel that there's something to be concerned then the next step will be a biopsy but i am not going to dwell into negativity like oh my god i have it you know it might not be anything to be concerned but taking precautions and um yeah fun times continue for me and i uh it's 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 kind of hard it's hard because it's not one thing or another for me and it seems like um, I'm getting hit all sorts of directions with with my health so I'm trying to you know stay calm not get agitated not get upset just uh, stay with the course and keep pushing forward because I'm not letting my health um, is health issues take me down. I am not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna keep fighting all the way till the end. And um, so that is pretty much it for now. I'm gonna do is take care of a couple of things and I will be leaving here for my CT angiograph appointment in the afternoon. I have to leave here at least, uh, I would say, maybe 10 to 10 to 5. Even though it's like maybe 5, 6, 7 minutes walk, but, you know, I don't want to start rushing. And, you know, I know that check-in is going to be a little bit of a process. Uh, so, I have that going on. Got to get my mind wrapped up around that that exam too yeah so this is pretty much it I'll do a check in in a little while just to let you guys know that I'm already heading to the hospital so stay tuned hi everybody I'm trying to, I'm doing a quick check in just to let you know, guys know I'm heading to the hospital for the CT angiograph so I should get there about five minutes from, from now. So hopefully it goes quick and I'll be able to get home so quickly. Alrighty, so I will give you another check-in and let you know how it went and, uh, and how long I have to wait for the results. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, I literally just got out of the hospital about five minutes ago. I had my CT, CT angiogram, graph, graph, graph. Um, I'm kind of 
somebody trying to take a deep breath. It's a little rough for me right now. Um, so I did the initial check-in. They made me fill out a paperwork just to see, you know, how healthy I am, if I have any allergies or um, what type of medication I take. And then once they call you in, uh, the nurse came and she drew blood from my arm and made an IV line because um, she, she stated to me that it since I haven't been able to get uh, she didn't see any blood work done the past 30 days so she needed to draw a little bit of blood to check how my kidneys were and uh, you know the test takes about maybe three minutes so I sat there waiting while you know she um, she made the line and then um, once the three minutes were up you know it showed that my kidneys were healthy so I was able to proceed to the next room which is where the CAT scan is at and there I met the technician and he explained to me what I was supposed to um, did what he was planning to do so he did was first he did a CAT scan without the contrast just to see where you know everything is you know look and then um, then he had the nurse come in and put the line in like for the contrast into my IV and um, there um, I felt you know the it felt the, like a sensation it felt like cold at first and they told me that I have to look for for like um, any allergy reactions like shortness of breath uh, health, uh, rashes um, you know anything palpitations of any type and, and if I had any bad reaction I would have to go to the emergency room right away so I could get monitored um, but other than that you know it went it took about 20 minutes because then when the IV went in with the contrast I um, I felt like a hot burning sensation like through my whole body which he already explained I was gonna feel that felt like everything hot all of a sudden from my head all the way down to my feet like <laughs> I felt like I was going through menopause again <laughs> So it was just very strange, but um, but once they were done taking the images, then they took me out of the machine and then they took the IV line off and um, sent me home. But he said, you know, just monitor myself, make sure that I don't develop any um, reactions from the from the iodine solution that they put in and. Um, and just uh, drink lots and lots of fluids, lots of water. You know, that's all he could advise because he says, as long as I drink a lot of fluids, that stuff is gonna flush out of my system by tonight. And if any residual side effects, you know, for the next two days, then, you know, just go to the emergency room. So, that's pretty much it. So now I gotta sit and wait for the results and see what exactly they, the images shows. Um, with the contrast, you know, what they see in the arteries, and um, take it from there. So, anybody who was watching my videos, please give it a like. Um, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe, and, um, and I will link to the playlist of, you know, my journey in trying to overcome COVID, you know, recovery from COVID. And, um, Thank you everybody for watching my content and I will see you soon, you know, with the results of, you know, of this test and um, we'll see what happens from there. <laughs> Alright, so please everyone stay safe, stay blessed and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.